Hi, this is Tom Does Tech. I'm Tom. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the image component from Next10 and the Unsplash API to create the perfectly sized background image that will fit your page. So you can see that the image scales perfectly when you change the size of the window. And every now and again, you will get a random image from the API. So let's jump over to the code. And we can start by creating a new page. I have my index page here. And you can see that this page just has a form on it. Okay. And uh, we want to create a background image for the page. So I'm just using style components here, but you can use any component library that you like. So I'm just going to start with a uh, styled wrapper. So we'll create a wrapper component with a styled .div. And the wrapper component can go around the form. And then we need to create our background image component. So we can call this BD image to sex. Okay, great. So let's import image from next slash image. Uh, and this component is only available in next 10. And we also need to import styles from styles. Style components. OK, so we also need actually uh, put uh, use effect and use state from React. OK. Let's start by creating our function to get the window dimensions. So this function here just gets the windows inner width and inner height and returns an object with the width and height. Then we will need to create state with our width and height. And then as the component loads, we will need to get the initial windows width and height. And then when the window resizes, we'll need to change the width and height. So you can see here that we're adding an event listener to the window resize function. And so when the window resizes, our handle resize function will be called and the width and height of the image will get changed. So we only want to render this image if we have a width and a height. Um, otherwise, we want to just return null. And we'll want to return a... Uh, actually, we could probably just return a the image component. And we need to make the source of the image this Unsplash URL. So this will just search the Unsplash uh, API for images that match our width and height and then our tags here. So we'll also need to set the width of this to our Windows width and the height to our Windows our height. OK, perfect. That's our background image complete. So we can import our so we only want to load this background image on the client. So we can import dynamic from next slash dynamic. And then we can 
create our component dynamic import background image and we just want to load this to the client so we'll set server-side rendering to false and we can put our background image below the form okay let's take a look at our browser and we can see that it looks okay but we want the form in the middle and we want it to be uh, to only take up enough uh, the width that it needs to take up so let's go back to our code and we can add some styles to our wrapper so we want our wrapper to have a z index of so I'm using nine styles, uh, a Z index of one, uh, because we need it to fit, uh, we need it to go over the top of that background image. And so the background image needs to come out here and we can use a fragment to make React happy. Uh, the width needs to be 100%, the height 100%. Uh, the position is the fixed background. Actually, we don't need to set the background color. Um, justify content center and align items is center. Okay. Okay, if we come back to our background image, we need to add some uh, styles to the images wrapper uh, from style components, and we can just make a um, a box equals styled div, and we can wrap our image in this box component. And a box will need to be uh, position fixed. And have a Z index of zero. So this Z index will just need to be less than the Z index on the form wrapper. And we'll set our top to zero as well. Okay, and I think there's one star missing from here. Yeah, so our wrapper needs to be display flex. And if we have a look, you can see our background image is the perfect width and height, and it will resize with our window as well. And every now and again with the resize, you'll see the image change. Uh, that's because it will create a new request to the Unsplash API and change the image. So thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and let me know what your feedback is.